As we continue our Hidden History series this month, we're highlighting a woman born into slavery in the early 1800s in Chowan County. Harriet Jacobs spent her life fighting for freedom. As Night of Your Sides, Erin Dean tells us she sacrificed years without her children just to make sure she could provide them with a better life. The story of Harriet Jacobs was once hidden here in Edenton, North Carolina. But with the help of the North Carolina Historical Sites, it's now being told all over the world. Determination, and we need to think about uh, perseverance. Those qualities are a part of Harriet Jacobs' legacy. As a woman born into slavery in 1813, it took her a while to realize she was even a slave. Years later, she knew she was destined for independence. And what it took, the willpower that it took, uh, to endure the things that she endured. Andrew Cole is a program coordinator for the historic Edenton State Historic Site. There have been slave narratives written before. Uh, but hers is from the perspective of a woman. In her memoir, Incident in the Life of a Slave Girl, she writes about endless trauma. She was sent to live with um, a physician in town named Dr. James Norcom, and it was um, at that place of residence um, where a lot of her troubles began. Um, he started um, abusing Harriet. Jacobs wanted to be free. Since her parents died while she was young, her freed grandmother, Molly Hornablow, stepped in as her protector and mother figure. Then, Jacobs became a mother herself, giving birth to two children. Uh, a lot of her story revolves about around the love for her children and, and wanting them uh, to have a different experience in her life. She reached a turning point and knew she had to take control when her children were about to be sold. She does not want her daughter to grow up um, being subjective to the, the, the same hardships that she is facing as an enslaved woman. So, she escaped. For seven years, Jacob spent her time in a crawl space in her grandmother's attic. It ranged from seven by nine in width to three feet in height. And to put it all into perspective, that's about the size of this desk area. After years of hiding, she escaped from Edington in the 1840s and was reunited with her daughter. During the American Civil War, she actually goes down to places like Washington, D.C. and Alexandria, Virginia, uh, where she works uh, both as a nurse and as an educator. Jacobs died in 1897 as a free woman and abolitionist, becoming an important part of American history. See where you're going, you got to look where you've been. And so I think it's important to look back at the experiences of people like Harriet Jacobs. Jacob's book, Incident in the Life of a Slave Girl, is not only being published here in the U.S., but people all the way in Japan are getting the opportunity to learn about the life story of Harriet Jacobs. For Hidden History, I'm Erin Dean.